Hello, friends. <laughs> What's that sound you hear? I'm out at the cabin out here at St. Bernard Acres to uh, work on the rain catchment system. And what's it doing? It's raining. Wow. Well, it's supposed to be rain today or tomorrow or Sunday. This is Friday, August 26th. But they may have missed. This is so typical, I can't get over it. Oh, well. Guess I'll let it pass. I mean, it, I guess it's, you know, appropriate. Going to work on rain catchment in the rain. But at least it's not too hot. I just can't believe this. Mm -mm -mm. But stick around. I'll show you what's going on. All right, stopped raining for a bit. <laughs> this is where the barrels are gonna sit. I already brought them out. Put them on this pallet here. And I can always add two more barrels if I want to. I've got them down in the bottom of the barn. If I decide that's what I need to do, I'll just daisy chain them all four together. Then we'll have about 200 gallons of water. But that, battery box there that metal thing that's got all my batteries in it that's going to be moving over to this when i build the shed but there's my gutter and the downspout i only need to use the one side i don't you know originally i thought i was going to come off the front and bring it all the way over this way but plenty of rain just from the one side here so these are all the parts I think I'm gonna to need to put all this together. I was walking around Lowe's trying to picture in my head how this was going to work. And I think this will make it, make it work. <laughs> this will be my first flush diverter and direct it into one of the barrels. Had to buy a 10 foot piece of sewer pipe. Uh, that's all they had, you know, to go with this three inch thin wall stuff. Because, I mean, it, this is like nothing under high pressure. It's nothing, you know. I'm going to, for the winter, I'm going to take the drain out of the bottom, you know, and cap it so that it doesn't even fill up. It'll just go straight out. And uh, I'll probably f fashion a, a, an elbow to go. You know, I can slide a piece up under the cabin, and in wintertime, I can put it on there and direct it out. Uh, you'll see as I get this together. But let me get started on figuring out how this is going to work. Get a ladder out here. I'll be back. Well, as you can see behind me, the sun has come out. I'm going to try and put as much of this together as I can down here and then set it up and screw it into the down tube. My idea is to come out of the down tube with a short piece and then put a 45 on there. Let it run down a little ways. Put the other 45 on there so it goes down straight. And then cut a piece of PVC as long as I need it. And on the bottom of that, put this, which is threaded on the bottom. Have the cap, which I can screw on there. This piece will be the collection tube, the diverter tube. And then... It's going to be like this, so if you can imagine when this fills up, all the sediment and bird poop and everything is dropped down to the bottom. When it fills up, then it'll come out of here, go across to a 90, down into the barrel. So that's kind of what I'm looking at. I think that'll work. 
Now I have to glue everything together and cut everything that I'm going to cut and pieces together and have me some Dr. Pepper Zero. Hook up my barrels and then it won't rain for three weeks. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that cuts it pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Let me uh, show you. I'm going to put a piece of sandpaper here just to clean it up. Like I said, there's no high pressure stuff. You know, it's going to be a drizzle coming out of the gutters. Like I said, I was walking through Lowe's, picturing this as I was picking up the pieces. So now, we're back to going straight down again. Yeah, that's going to give me enough height. So now I need a short piece to bring down to connect onto this. All right, let me get these pieces in. I've got this part screwed into the down tube, so that's not going anywhere. That's where I could use a hand. <laughs> How did I know I was going to need channel locks? that I didn't bring out. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want any sharp turns in it. Mm -hmm. Any twigs or anything like that. You know, I wanted used to... a street elbow. Huh? A street well, elbow. Well, yeah, this I could They long. didn't have any. I'm dealing with lows. No, I, I had to pick through the bins <sighs> like we did everything else and try to piece it together because everything's out of stock. Yep. So this is what I got stuck with. What do you think? Think that'll serve the purpose? I think so too. All right, folks. Let me show you what I did here. What I done did. It got humid. Let me tell you, folks. That rain this morning. Still kind of a mess back here. But... That'll give you an idea of what it is. Coming down the gutter, down that first tube, and it's gonna run down here and fill this tube up. It has a, I can take the, off the bottom and clean it out when I need to. But this is where all the dirt and dust and twigs and bird poop that is on the roof will go when it starts raining. It's, it'll flush it all off. And then, as this fills up, look at that tick on there. Look at that. Why well, can't there? He is some bitch. Um, it'll come up and then run across here. Oops. It'll come up, <laughs> run across here, down and into the rain barrel. And then these are connected. So it only has, you know, they'll fill up together. Then I have the hose to overflow, which will run along here. I got to get it set up off into that area. 
for any overflow and the tube for the pump that'll pump the water into the kitchen sink but there you go there's a simple easy inexpensive first flush diverter you know you don't have to buy all that stuff they try to advertise it's very solid it's not going anywhere i put plug this is called plumber's tape put that around it as tight as can be it's not going anywhere it's only going to hold about a gallon and a half of water maybe a couple you know 12 pounds but yeah there it is that's how you do a simple easy cheap rain catchment figure with the cost of the barrels the hose to get up everything is somewhere between a hundred and hundred twenty dollars that was it and I like the fact that there's nothing ugly sticking out the side of the cabin. You can barely see it. You know? That's why I like those better than that one of my totes I got in the basement of the barn. I prefer that. Alright, folks. Let me tell you, it got hot. And it got humid. That little bit of rain this morning. I mean, the sun came out. It got pretty. I don't know if you can see any blue skies or not. There's some clouds, but uh, they got humid. Probably 85 degrees and 95% humidity. You know how that goes. But it didn't rain for long. Hope you all enjoyed this. I'm going to tell you what's great. When I was doing all that and sweating, guess what? I have my hand fan. <laughs> yeah, you knew that was coming. Mm. And again, with all the sweat and all the humidity, I just turn it on and there we go. It really dries up the sweat. I know that doesn't sound too good. But yeah, I hope you liked my rain catchment and my First flush diverter. Finally got that project finished. Uh, next project, the battery shed. I'm gonna, this week, I'm going to get that framed in. Uh, I want to get all the batteries moved into it, the generators moved into it, and get that box that's back behind the barn and that big pallet, get all that stuff away from back there um, so I can clean that all up back there. I have to move the propane tank. Um... So I need to get some more room set up back there. But that's the next project we can work on. But yeah, I love it out here. It's so quiet. Even with this fan going as I walk around. Uh, yeah. Friday, August 26th. Remember to like, share, comment. Again, tell me what you think I did wrong on the rain catchment or the first flush diverter. You know. Uh, but I like it. I think it's going to work great. I just, I know now it's going to be three weeks or so before we get any rain because I need rain so I can test it all out and make sure it's all working good. Boy, did that exposure change when I stepped in the sun. But I got to go lock up the barn. Nick's first night at work by himself. I got to go check on him. And Gail's out on the road with Alex. She was in Missouri this morning. They're heading to Utah. Uh, so I got to go home, take care of the cats, and make sure everything's good. I'll uh, probably be out here Sunday, give everything a good mowing, weed eating, get all that stuff caught up, and get a list of materials I need for the... Uh, uh, you know, the battery room, duh, the power room. I was going to tear the shed down. I emptied it out 
the, the old shed in, in Wheeling um, so I could bring it out here and use it. But somebody asked me, well, since I got it empty, can they use it for a few weeks? They have to store some stuff. And it's like, all right, <laughs> you know, I, I was going to tear it apart and bring it out here, but, you know, uh, I'll go ahead and get some. I got a bunch of two befores in the barn already. And that's enough to get me started on that battery room and get it leveled up and get it framed in and at least get a roof over it. I'm going to use the old tin, some old tin I have for a, like a shed roof on it. But yeah, I want to get the back of the cabin now all cleaned up since I got the rain catchment back there. That's the next project, folks. In case anybody wants to come out and do it. <laughs> oh, I like this thing. Um... Yeah, I'm going to get off of here. Get in an air-conditioned truck <laughs> or van. I got I got the escape pod here with me. I broke my truck again. There's something wrong with the front end. I don't know. Going to have to do something about that truck. But I'm going to hang up. Get off of here. Remember to like, share, comment. You know, all those things. I can't say it enough because nobody does it. <laughs> if you think you're subscribed, you better check. If you're not subscribed, you ought to hit that button because it's fun. It's a fun channel. I like it. I'm subscribed to it. Y'all should be too. This is Joe. Hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy it. We're coming near the end of summer. Enjoy your weekend. Stay cool. I'm out. But yeah, it turned out to be a really nice day out here. Once the rain stopped, I mean, humid beyond belief. It must be 85 and 95 hu humidity, 95%. But it was doable. Gave me a chance to use my water bottle. Let me show you this thing again. I gotta do it. Folks, I gotta do 10 videos with this. That was part of the Part of the deal i have to show different uses for it in 10 separate videos and it helps 